All right, I'm uh, making this video with a new camera. Got rid of the iPhone, so um, freaking camera don't have a memory card in it. But um, I want to show you something important. Okay, I, I used a can of air to blow out this laptop, you know, and I I wasn't getting much, so um, it, it had an overheating issue. This is like one of them Dell XPSs or whatever, and. Um, sometimes it's just important that you just literally get in there and this thing obviously needs to be replaced because the freaking heat sink broke off as I was unscrewing it I mean it just broke completely off you know they had a bunch of caked up thermal paste somebody put way too much thermal paste on uh, this thing I mean way too much but um, so I'm pretty sure it, it was a combination of issues but um, my point is when you sometimes you actually need to take these freaking things apart because as you can see like right here when I stuck my tube I stuck my um my q-tip in there and I rubbed it against the fan grill look look at that you know and then look what I got look at that shit look at that like a freaking dead mouse or something but this is an important reason why sometimes you do need to take this thing apart. Uh, uh, blowing it out is not going to do it, especially if you know it's not your original laptop. You're not sure where it came from, and, and things of that nature. You you're gonna have to freaking take this thing apart. You know, I mean, it's some screws, and it it'll, it'll lift this completely off. So let me get to it and show you. I was just instead of taking it completely apart, I wanted to see before I did. Was it something still blocking the airflow because it was still overheating after I blew it out with the compressed air? So let's see what we got. So yes, it's important to still blow out your um, your your vents for your laptop, but you know if you're not sure about the laptop and where it's been, who had it, and so forth and so on. Let's see if I miss a screw here. One, two, three. I hope I got all the screws. So, um, look at that shit there. Look at that. Let me let me get some light. Look at that shit. Hell, I have problems reading too. You know, this is this is your the the, the fan outlet. For, this is how your laptop breathes. And look at that shit. You know, and I thought I just did something with the little Q-tip. I did nothing. So hell yeah, this fucking thing's gonna overheat. Oh, I'm sorry for cursing, but it's just. In very, very, very important to blow out your laptop, and this is why. If you're having an overheating issues, this is this is it. This is one of the main culprits. Is people do not blow out their their um their fan. So this fan is going to have to be replaced. Um, but I, I can assure you, once I put this back together, it's going to work just fine, you know, w without much of any issue. But, guys, you guys got to, you got to blow it out. I, I tell people all the time, you know, it, it, look at that. That's all it takes is a few seconds. You get some can air and to prevent that and to prevent the freaking thing from breaking apart. You know, and you will save a laptop. This is a pretty nice laptop. This is a Dell XPS. Um, I think it's got the AMD chip. I don't know what the hell is in here. Yeah, it's an AMD Torian X2, it looks like. Sorry again about the camera, but um, I can't find my memory card for my handheld camera. And I did want to do a video with the new phone to see how it come out.
usually make them with the iPhone. And um, it's finally switched from my iPhone. So I'm curious how the video is going to come out. But blow out your computer fan. So if your laptop's like this here, let's say it's here, and there's the vents right there on the side. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to blow it out. You know, it's probably a good idea to not have the laptop running, but this isn't blowing out very strong. This this stuff here is kind of weak, you know. But blow it out, blow it out, blow it out. Save yourself a ton of money, and this will fix. This will fix. In most cases, this will fix and solve any heating issues for, um, let's say, the Dell XPS series. So, um, definitely, definitely blow it out. Let me show you the Dell here. So it was a nice laptop. I need a keyboard. It's a Dell Studio. I'm sorry, not the XPS. Dell Studio. But that that'll fix your laptop. That'll save you tons of money. And especially if you got pets, this this either this this computer here was in in a, a shop or it was in a, a home with pets, and more than likely it was pets. And, uh, or, or smokers, pets or smokers. Um, I would say pets though, Cause, because I see so much of it. That's that's why I'm, I'm able to guess right off the top of my head, and I know, I just know it, it sounds know it allish or cocky, but it, I just see so much of this, and is and I made a video before telling people the importance of blowing out your fan, but obviously most people don't could care less. They just use it and get ready to throw it away. This is a throwaway computer. It's about to be fixed. So I'm going to do I'm just going to order another heat sink and fan. I have put this thing back together like this. And I guarantee you it work better than when it was working before. So that's how you fix your Dell Studio. If it's having overheating issues or popping up telling you something about overheating issues. Probably YouTube user big on you. Thanks for um, liking. Thanks for watching. And thanks for the support. Truly love you guys for um, loving me. And, uh, um and following me. Thanks again and blow out your laptops.